Hi everyone. In this video I want to show you me attempting to make a spot welder. Well, spot welders are used for a lot of different things really, but one thing in particular that I'm interested in is this. I've just put this battery together here, which is going to be for another video. But um, you see here there are four points. What happens is they get a, a like, steel uh, plate and they put it across and they spot weld twice but two little welds in one go. So essentially they've got four little spot welds on each side of the cell and I want to make something that will do that. Now I don't really know everything there is to know about this and this video might not be successful, it might not work, I have no idea. But what I do know is that in order to weld um, you essentially need to melt two pieces of metal together. Now with these things being steel that's going to be a lot of heat and um, it's a short amount of time, so it's a split second. So a massive amount of heat for a split second will be enough to weld. So, now there's a common way in which we can do that. If I was to get a car battery and um, put the two terminals together, you'd get an arcing. And the arcing is where the voltage um, or the current tries to jump across uh, to the other piece of metal, the other terminal and uh, that causes large amounts of heat. Anyway, I'll get to the point. I'm going to use a car battery, some leads and whatever, and I'm going to try and make a welder. So, like I said, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. Okay, so I have a car battery, which is a big thing here. I have two of these things. I have two lugs, two 40 amp cables, um, one of which has one of these already put onto it. I think this must have been from an old project, but you can see I've done quite a nice job there. Um, I've got this as well and I've got a screw and a nail I was thinking that maybe these could be useful for tapping to try and get the weld, I don't know so these are the items I'm going to use hopefully this works the first thing I'm going to do is put these connectors on the battery so let's put the battery over here so you can see and which is which, now it actually does matter there we go, that one goes on there. Um, is it better the other way? I think it is, it'd be better that way. So, it's a bit tight that. <coughs> that one's not very tight, so what's going on there? Maybe it just needs a bit of adjustment. A bit of a bang, bang down or something. There we go. So that will be okay on there now. Um, what's the next thing I need to do? Really, I need to make these lug things. So, just push that back there. I'll tighten them on in a minute. So, these lugs, um, where are they going to go? I suppose they would go on the battery there. No, I'm going to put them that way. So, yeah, I'm going to put that in there like that. You can actually solder these in place as well, but um, I'm not going to bother with that. I think it's just a bit excessive for what I'm trying to do, so I'm going to put that in place, use this middle bit here and just squash that, and I'll have to squash it again in a minute actually that's a little bit too long, I need to just trim that bit is that going to work? there we go let's try again now so this 40 amp cable, put this in, there we go, and try to crimp that in place. Again you can actually get a crimper that's specially designed for this, but I find these work very well anyway. Um, so that's half of the job, and now if I just squash it this way, there we go, and it's crimped very well, as you can see. You can actually finish the job by putting solder in, like I said before. So there's one of them done, and this one as well. Um, same thing, really. Um, do I want to do it the opposite way, though? It doesn't really matter, but it's good for this. Use this side just to keep it in place. Okay, and then this one to tighten it up. And 
finish the job. <coughs> there we go. So those are crimped pretty well. I think I'll just tighten this one up. There we go. They're crimped very well now. Just with a pair of pliers, you see what I mean? You don't really have to get specialist equipment a lot of the time. You can just crush them just with pliers. And the job's, job's good. Anyway, so I've got those two. So what are we doing now? Um, time to get this back. Now I haven't got any solenoids or anything like that. I'm just going to try and do this basic. And what, I've, what I was thinking is that if I just get this negative one here, this bolt, and just put this in here, it should work. So just tighten that in, and it's 13 mil, which is a bit of a weird size, but whatever. So put that in there. Um, I'll try and tighten this up. When I tighten this up, it's doing two things. It's uh, tightening the connector up, and it's also tightening this up to the uh, terminal, um, whatever that's called as well. And now the plus, or the positive, anode, whatever you want to call it. Same thing, I'll put this on here. I guess really with this, I should probably put a fuse in place, because if these two would connect, uh, were to join together, you know, these two cables, we'd have a bit of a problem. However, um, I don't want to do it because welding itself will be more than like 20 amps, I presume, well, definitely. Um, you know, it could be more, more like 100 amps for a split second. So if I was to put maybe a 100 amp fuse in, I don't know if it would work or not really. Um, so I'm going to leave it off for the time being, and I'll just have to be careful with them, but you see what I mean? Uh, they're very close. I'll zoom out of it in a minute and show you this properly. Anyway, so where are we now? So I've got this other end here, which is off the plus. Let's just have a drink. Hmm. And I need to put this in... Well, I'm guessing I should put this in here. Like, there are different ways of doing this, I and mean, maybe I could put that in there. See what I mean? And solder that to there or something, or solder it round there. Sol wrap it round, solder it. I could do that. But I'm thinking that probably it's better if I just tighten it like that and then put this screw in or cut the top of this off and then put that in there or something. Like that. I'm thinking that's probably the best option, the nail. So, I'll screw this in place now. Um, and let's see how it works. Hopefully it will bite. <coughs> Looks like it's gone all the way there. Oh well it has gripped it so that's good. Now this one this is the nail portion, and I could do this being as straight as possible, really. Let's see if this will work. Hmm. Well, it has got it. Okay, so there we go. I'll zoom out and just show you what I've got here. So zoom out. <coughs> so there's the battery. In fact, I'll zoom out a bit more. We'll not zoom. It's just this thing. So I've got the battery. Hmm, they're not very good, are they? Probably should have taped those up. Oh well, I've got the battery which is here and the two cables, I've got the ground one and this one here now this might weld I don't know what it might um, <coughs> now the thing is 600, uh, 60 amp hour 600 amps, I think that's 600 cca 
probably. So that's one powerful thing. Now this could go crazy, I don't know. Uh, in a minute I'm going to get a piece of metal and I'll try it out. Okay, so I have actually welded one as you can see here. And it does work. But, and it's a very big but, um, the thing is just crazy. It's out of control. I'm going to weld this one together now just to show you. But you can see that it's just out of control. It's far too powerful. So hold that on there. And are you ready? Right, okay, that I didn't hold it down properly. But you can see that it's just crazy. And it's actually welded it to that and it's welded the thing shut. So yeah. But it did weld this one. It's just too crazy. So hmm. What's it done here as well? I don't know what's on there. It does work, but it's crazy. It's just far too powerful. Look, at, at one point it burns straight through some of this solder and stuff here. So yeah, it works, but it's crazy. I mean, look at the state of the uh, tip. It's ruined already. Um, so this project really is a failure. I need to just solder it the normal way, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to rip this off. The project has been a failure, um, but as you can see, the idea was there. I'll have to rethink. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.